Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be covering Ohm's Law. So Ohm's Law states that voltage is equal to amperage times resistance. So the variable V in this equation stands for voltage and is in the unit of volts. I stands for amperage and is in the unit of amps. And R stands for resistance, which is in the units of ohms. So when you are solving problems, or solving for something, you need to make sure you are in these correct based units. For example, if you have milliamps, then you need to convert to amps. Now let's solve a problem that makes use of the Ohm's law. So let's say a problem states we have a space heater on a 120 volt circuit. That's our first given useful piece of information. So we wrote it here. And then let's say that the problem said the space heater had 12 amps of current passing through it. Then the problem finishes by saying, how much resistance is the space heater putting on the circuit? Well, we can find the resistance of the space heater using the Ohm's law, which I wrote off to the side here. V is equal to I times R. So now let's start filling in these variables with our given information. So you know V is equal to 120 volts, and that's in the correct units. Then we know the amperage is 12. So we'll go ahead and write that here. And then our needed piece still is resistance. That's what we're going to be solving for. So using some algebra here, we're going to divide both sides by 12. And we find that R, or the resistance, is equal to 10 ohms. Because the resistance in this case is in the units ohms. Let's say for our next problem, we have an LED and on the packaging, it says it has a supply voltage rating of 3.2 volts. So we write that down as a given info. Then for amperage, it says 50 milliamps pass through the LED at this voltage. So what is the internal resistance of this LED? We can find this using Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. But before we can start using this, we first must double check that all these units are in the correct form. And the amperage in this case is not because it is in milliamps right now and we must convert this into amps. So using a conversion factor, we just write 50 milliamp over one on this side. And then on this side, we know that one amp is equal to 1000 milliamps. So in order to get these units to cancel, we write 1000 milliamps in the, in the de denominator of a fraction, and then in the numerator we write 1 amp. And after we cancel these units, we are just left with amperage here, and then after doing some simplifying, we end up with 0 0.05 amps. So now we can input this known information into Ohm's law. So for voltage, we have 3.2 volts. And for amperage, we know that we have 0 0.05 amps. So we put in 0 0.05. And for resistance, that's what we're solving for. We don't know it yet, so we're just going to write R in here. Now we just divide both sides by 0 0.05 amps, indicated here and here. And then we find that the resistance is equal to 64 ohms. For our next problem, let's say we need to find the voltage across a resistor. So for our givens, the voltage, we don't know, so we just write down a question mark because this is what we are solving for. For amperage, let's just say there are 10 amps uh, passing through the resistor. And then we know that the resistor is a 5 ohm resistor. So using the Ohm's law, we can actually find the voltage across the resistor. So on the right here, we start by writing V is equal to IR. And then underneath it, we write V is equal to, and we know I is equal to 10 amps. And then uh, resistance in this case is equal to five ohms. So we put these values in, in these variables. And now we just simplify this equation. So we find that voltage is equal to 50 volts. And we're done. That's the voltage across the resistor. For our next example, let's say we have a light bulb with a known operating voltage of 120 volts 
and then we find that the bulb has a resistance of 240 ohms through it. And the problem says to predict how many amps will pass through the light bulb to later calculate how much power the bulb is actually rated for. Well, we can go ahead and start solving this by using the Ohm's law. This will actually be a two part problem. So with V equal to IR, we know that the voltage is 120 volts. We'll go ahead and put that in right now. And we don't know amperage, so we're just gonna write that variable right now. And let's say that resistance is equal to 240 ohms that we found through the bulb. Now let's write this in parentheses just to make it easier to see that we need to multiply times amperage. And now we just need to solve for amperage. Using algebra, we're going to divide both sides by 240. And we find that the amperage is equal to 0 0.5 amps. And while we haven't gone over it yet, we, power is actually equal to the voltage times the amperage. So, so power equals volts times amps right here. So we're going to start filling in these variables with our known information. We have a known voltage of 120 volts the bulb is supposed to operate at. And there's an amperage that can pass through the bulb at that voltage of 0 0.5 amps. So we're going to write this off to the side here. And multi multiplying these two together, we get that the power of the bulb will be 60 watts. Awesome. If you find videos like this helpful, feel free to subscribe so you do not miss future ones. And then liking the videos as well really helps the channel and helps other viewers uh, find my content. And if you have any questions about anything, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I love reading them. Thank you very much.